This tutorial will introduce the Classify Spines extension. This extension determines the differences in spine morphology and classifies them into categories. The measurement of the spine's morphological parameters and the classification based on these measurements gives information about their functional properties and physiological roles. We will start this tutorial when the filament tracer wizard is completed and the dendrites and spine objects created. The Classify Spines extension is available under the Tool tab. Click on the Classify Spines button to start this extension. In MATLAB, the Spine Classifier window displays a list of all the default classes. Each class is identified by name, classification rule, and color. There are four default classes stubby, mushroom, long thin, and philopodial. All detected spines are classified according to the classification rules. Classification rules are logic statements written in MATLAB and returning a value of 1 if true and 0 if false. These rules are applied in order of precedence from top to bottom, as listed in this window. All spines with a total spine length of less than 1 micrometer are classified as stubby according to the first rule. For the remaining spines, the first classification rule is false and the process of classification continues by applying the second rule. Select the button Classify Spines to execute this extension. In the viewing area, the four groups of spines are displayed in different colours. In the surpass tree, the new filaments object group is created. The filament object is named according to the spine class. All spines in the same class are assigned to the same filaments object. Spines can be classified using the default rules, or alternatively, you may create your own classification rules based on your actual data. In the dataset, you can measure the relevant spine and use these parameters for setting your own classification rules. To customize the classification, you can edit the current rule by simply clicking on the rule line. Otherwise, you can create a new rule by clicking on the Add New Class button. Click on the name line and enter a new name. To set a new rule, combine the morphological parameters spine, head, neck or ground with the predefined variables volume, length or width. The default classification rules show the pattern of syntax needed to complete these statements. To remove a class, click on the Remove Class button. By default, the spine neck length is set to be 50% and the spine head is 25% of the total spine length. To change this ratio, you can enter the new values in the appropriate fields. The new rules will be applied when the extension is executed. The newly classified groups of spines are displayed, and in the surpass tree, the new filaments object group is created. Under the Create One Filament option, you can select the different output options. As seen, the option 
create one filament object for each class, produces a new multi-filament surpass group and differently colored spines in the viewing area. The option Create one filament with custom statistics produces one new filaments object in the surpass tree. Under the Statistical tab, a new variable spine class is added. The spine class matches the rule number. Finally, the option Plot Class Statistics produces an additional window with interactive spine statistics plots. For each spine class, different variables can be plotted for the morphological parameters spine, head, neck and ground. The one shown displays spine density for each spine class. It plots the total number of spines divided by the total length of the dendrite. If you have questions about these or any other features found in Imaris, please contact our sales or support team. Thank you for watching this video.